good morning students today we are going to learn a fresh chapter that is bank reconciliation statement and first of all we will understand the meaning of bank reconciliation statement see bank reconciliation statement is a statement prepared mainly to reconcile the difference between the bank balance shown by the cash book and bank passbook as you know my dear students uh, cash book is prepared by the businessman and passbook is maintained by the bank employee so sometimes their closing balance will not tally in that condition we have to prepare bank reconciliation statement and now we are going to discuss what are the reasons uh, for the difference between cash book balance and passbook balance so basically there are two types of difference first one is differences caused by time gap and the second one is differences caused by errors committed in recording transactions these errors may be committed by the accountant or businessman as well as bank employee so first of all we are going to discuss causes of differences in the cash book and pass book due to time gap and in which you will see our first point is check issued check issued but not presented for payment in the bank always remember one thing my dear students bank reconciliation statement is not accounting means you are not going to touch your accounts you are not going to change your accounts rather you are going going to prepare a statement in which you will show the differences how the differences were arising now for example on a particular date cash book balance as well as pass book balance was 10000 rupees okay now suppose we have issued a check to mr x worth rupees 3000 so our journal entry will be x debit to bank and treatment in cash book will be by x that means we will write that treatment in credit side so when we will write this treatment in credit side our cash book balance will reduce by 3000 and that balance will come 7000 but still that check is not presented into the bank so our passbook balance is 10000 so due to this reason difference will arise so now see how we can how we can remove this difference so by adding 3000 rupees in cash book balance we can remove this difference so cash book balance and passbook balance will tally so whenever you will get point like this check issued but not presented for payment you have to add that amount by that particular check which were not presented okay now see next point that is point number 2 checks paid into bank checks paid into bank but not paid into bank for collection but not collected or credited by the bank okay so suppose on a particular date our cash book and pass book balances are 20000 each okay and now we have received a check of rupees 5000 and we have posted that check in our cash book and as well as we have deposited that check into our bank account so our entry will be bank account debit to xyz so whenever we will as soon as we will write that check in our cash book our cash book balance will increase by that amount that is 5000 and it will be 25000 rupees but that check is not credited by the 
uh, bank due to the process of collection because that check is in the process of collection and that is why it is not credited by the bank so passbook balance is rupees 20000 and by this we can see difference is arising so now see how we can remove this difference see we can remove this difference by deducting 5000 rupees in our cash book balance okay so that both balances will be equal okay few more points of differences are there and those differences we will discuss in our in my next video okay